Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of the Wrestling Marks of Excellence here on Fox Sports Radio, 1340 AM and 96.9 FM. Tonight, we're going to give you our predictions for the Hell in the Cell pay-per-view coming up this week. As always, with me is the wizard himself, Nev Corey. And back in the house again tonight is Champ Creed. But we'll let the wizard get this show started. Wizard, take it away. We'll actually start off with the Tag Team Championship match with uh, Rusev Day facing the New Day. And I guess I'll, I'll lead off with that one. This was interesting because it seems like New Day is at that point where they could afford to lose the Tag Team titles with only a month break. And I, I, I honestly think, I think Rusev Day gets it. I don't know why, Champ Creed, but I feel like if they're going to do something with them, they're going to try to capitalize now. So I'm going to give that to Rusev Day. And you know what? I agree with you 100% on that because you figure Rusev came into, like, he came into the summer with a lot of momentum and mm-hmm. it seemed to die down. And we always know, like, once the organic momentum is dead, yep. that's when they'll put the strap on them. But well, that's when they'll do something to boost them up. Why? Because that's just the way that they do business. So I agree with you. I think Rusev uh, you know, becomes a tag team champion. Yeah, it just seems like that's where they're going to go. It's all right. So we just gave our predictions for uh, Rusev Day and New Day. What's your thoughts on that? You know, Rusev Day and New Day, I, I want to say, I want to go ahead and shoot with Rusev Day. I think Rusev Day actually go ahead and win this one. Uh, believe it or not, I think Rusev Day gets this. Um, just because I think they need something for them to do is that feel good moment of the night, and I think New Day doesn't really need the titles anyway. So I think Rusev Day actually gets the win here on this match. That Rusev Day yeah. will walk away as a champion. Yeah, that's funny. It's the same thing I said. If they New, New Day can afford to lose it after a month reign, uh, they're yeah. just at that position now. Go ahead, good, you know, you got it. No, let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's go to the, the U.S. title. Or not U.S. title. Let's go to Jeff Hardy and Randy Orton. Hell in the Cell mm-hmm. match. You know, uh, Sean, we start with you. Who do you think win this one? Uh, well, I mean, I hope uh, Orton can get the win just to give him some momentum and springboard him into another storyline. Because to be quite honest, I really don't like this storyline too much between the two. Not that it's bad. I just don't. It just doesn't grab my attention as it would have maybe, you know, like a decade ago. Mm. Yeah, I'm a, yeah, I, I think this one started off with a lot of steam. <laughs> it started off real hot, you know, with Randy Orton. I think it's cooled down just a little bit. Uh, but I do think Jeff Hardy gets the best out of Randy Orton here uh, in the Hell in the Cell match. Uh, just because Randy Orton has been on top for most of this uh, whole feud, and I don't think Jeff Hardy um, won't leave this feud without getting the win. So I'm going to go Jeff Hardy gets the win here over, over Randy Orton in the Hell in the Cell match. Uh, I just feel like they're going to really go somewhere with this Randy Orton character. He needs a signature win. I think this is it. I think I'm going to go Randy Orton just because I think Jeff Hardy, much like New Day, I think Jeff Hardy is at a place in his career. He'll be able to recover from this. I think if you're doing something with Randy Orton with this new gimmick, you got to give him a win. And I think this is where he gets it. Okay. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. Let's move on to... Uh, the Raw Tag Team title match, Dean Ambrose, Steph Rollins, taking on Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre for the Raw Tag Team title. This one is the one I, that I had a, a dilemma with, and I still have a dilemma with right now. Uh, I think, you know, Dean Ambrose and Steph Rollins uh, never lost the Raw Tag Team titles. It was Seth Rollins and Jason Jordan who actually lost, lost the Raw Tag Team titles. And mm-hmm. when you see here that now Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre has a run here with the titles. I'm going to say Drew wins because for the simple fact is I don't see Seth Rollins being intercontinental champion and tag team champion at the same time. And I think to further the storyline with Drew McIntyre and Dolph Ziggler to keep them more relevant and on top uh, that Drew McIntyre and Dolph Ziggler gets to win over Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. I think that uh, Dolph and Drew keep the uh, tag team titles until about maybe a week before the Royal Rumble. And once they drop them, then I'm still going my prediction. Drew McIntyre in the main event of WrestleMania. Hmm. Interesting. I I don't have that exact timeline with with them, but I do think they hold on to the tag titles for a while. I'm definitely going Dolphin Drew 
to hold on to these. She she has enough going within them own selves as, as an entity that they don't need the tag titles. And much like Julo referenced to, you don't need Seth being intercontinental and tag champion. It's not no real point of it. So it's often true. All right, next match is the grudge match. The grudge match between uh, Daniel Bryan, excuse me, Daniel Bryan and Brie Bella taking on the Miz and Maurice. Uh, if you watch SmackDown, if you watch leading up to this. Uh, the families or the husband and wife teams have really been involved. Actually, I believe they carried SmackDown a little bit for most of the time. Um, and in my opinion, just watching SmackDown, they really carried it. And this feud, once again, is a personal feud. That's what I like about this Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. A lot of the feuds going into Hell in a Cell are very personal here. They, they, they really are. You know, Hell in a Cell pay-per-view is one that ends a lot of feuds. I don't see this one ending because I think we get one more match between The Miz and Daniel Bryan. Uh, but it's good to bring both wives in here. And I applaud both women coming off of giving birth to babies within a year apart of each other, a couple of years in part, to get back in the ring. That's one of the big things there. Uh, Wizard, I'll start with you on this. Who do you think wins? Uh, I'm, I'm going to go uh, I'm gonna go Daniel Bryan and, B- and Brie Bella. Just because going into, one, the Evolution pay-per-view, I think Brie Bella is going to get a signature win going into that. And the fact that The Miz won the last... Uh, at SummerSlam, and Daniel Bryan just resigned. I think they're going to start Daniel Bryan on the right train, and he's going to he's going to win. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah I'm with that too. Uh, DB and Bree B, DB and Bree B. <laughs> uh, get the W. Yeah, I'm, I'm the opposite. I think Miz and Maurice gets to win here, which prompts another match between Daniel Bryan and the Miz. I think the Miz gets uh get that get that two uh, zero. As you want to go, go too old on Daniel Bryan, but Daniel Bryan will end up getting a signature win at another pay per view coming up. So I'm gonna go with Miz and Maurice here gets the win. Oh, but, mm. And I'm gonna say that because that's a payback for Miz and Maurice not getting the win against John Cena and Nikki Bella. You I know wrestling. what? If this match has been spaced out a little bit from Daniel Bryan and Miz fighting, I can I can actually agree with that. I can actually agree with that. But I don't think so, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go on to the uh, another grudge match. And I know Champ has a lot to say on this. Uh, Charlotte Flair taking on Becky Lynch for the SmackDown Women's Championship. So, Champ, I'm going to save you for last because I know you got a lot of thoughts on this one. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm going to let him add a score first, but it's okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll go first. Yeah, no, no, quick. no. All right. I, oh. No, I want it first. Let me take it first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Then, yeah, right. I was going to say, let him, let him go roll with it. All right. So now, after her antics this past week, I didn't watch SmackDown, but I did go to YouTube to see what she did. And that was a nice heel maneuver with mm-hmm. disguising herself and then something on the baby face. I think it's a knockdown drag out fight. I think it'll be a great match. I don't think she'll win. I don't think Becky Lynch is going to win. And I think she'll do enough to solidify herself as that heel, as you guys mentioned. And mm-hmm. then I think they carry this over to evolution. So I'm actually very much looking forward to see how this feud turns out. This debut has captivated me since SummerSlam. Uh, I don't think she'll win, but I think it'll be a meaningful match to carry on a feud. And hopefully it'll culminate at the um, at the uh, women's pay-per-view. Yeah, well, they'll... What it is is they'll, I don't know if you can use this champ creed, they'll have another match in between that as well. Um, they're scheduled to fight at Super Showdown as well. So uh, I I just, if I had to go, just to give off of, off of that, I give Charlotte the win here. I think Charlotte gets the win by disqualification or something at Super Showdown. And then I think Becky Lynch finally gets the belt at Evolution. So... There you go. And as far as yeah. self-pay-per-view, Charlotte wins. Yeah, I agree with y'all. Charlotte wins here. Yeah, I don't see Becky Lynch winning this for the simple fact they don't want the fans to cheer <laughs> for her yeah. to win. They don't want the yeah. fans to cheer her winning this. It's, too, it's still so close to SummerSlam. I mm-hmm. think this gets dragged out. I think she, she barely, Charlotte barely escapes. Uh, Becky keeps that fire. She has a you know breakdown later on or attack Charlotte later on a different show, whether on SmackDown next week or whatnot. Uh, but I definitely see Charlotte Flair winning this. But by the skin of her teeth, and that Becky and Charlotte will continue to fight each other. This right here, and, and you know, y'all can tell me if I'm wrong. This could potentially turn into that Ric Flair 
Ricky Steamboat feud with these two guys. Okay. No, 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 no. no. Rick, go back and forth. This, 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 no, no, this is Rick Flair and Magnum TA, what it would have been. Yeah. Mm, good, interesting, right? I, I, I give you that. I, I give you that one. It's going to go back and forth. I think this title switches the hands between Charlotte and Becky for a while just because there's no other woman on SmackDown. And I know somebody out there listening to them. They got Oscar. But right now, I don't mean no harm. Oscar's hanging out with Naomi. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, <laughs> you have a lot to do getting Oscar back to where she needs to be at. Ice cold. Right, cold. Right now. And, right now. and hold on. And, and, and I got to talk about that. Because even this thing with Oscar, right? Um, she went against Charlotte at Mayfield. That's what it was? Right. Yep. yep. Okay. Even with her choosing to face Charlotte, I really thought that that was a bad decision, and I felt that she should have decided to go against the Raw champion. But, I mean, because that made the most sense to me, being as though that she was on Raw. But in WWE planning, um, they have this whole thing mapped out for Ronda, to which you could have had something really good going with Asuka and Ronda, on the same roster, mm-hmm. and they could have been like I got this. something for that. Go ahead. And yeah, it, I felt like you could have danced around those two, and then you could have had the option for Ronda and Charlotte, or the option for Oscar and Ronda, or even eventually Oscar and Charlotte. I just think it was just premature to do Oscar and Charlotte this year. Uh, they should have just kept Oscar on the roster over on Raw. They wanted to give Nia Jackson. Uh, I I. One, they had wanted to give Nia Jax the rub. That was one. But two, honestly, I, I, I just think Oscar and Charlotte was the best they had available for to really showcase a women's match on the card. And three, you know, no pun intended, but Ronda is not ready for Oscar. It, if they kept Oscar on Raw and had Oscar and Ronda in the same, to go in the same direction, I don't care how much they would have tried to build Ronda to to be in there with Oscar. Oscar would have wrestled circles around her. It, it wouldn't even have been a contest. Right now, they're doing they're doing Ronda exactly the way they need to. That they have opponents with enough heat, but skill level is just below hers, and she's really looking like a machine out there. And then yeah. when she's finally ready, yeah. she'll be up there with the with the Charlottes and the Oscars and. That's why they haven't had her fight Bailey and uh, Tasha yet. Because they'll wrestle yeah, and, couples around her. <laughs> right and, then the belt, and, then, and then the belt gets perched up on ESPN because of the historic victory. By, you're right. I got, I got yeah. it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Fair enough. Go ahead, because, Speaking of Ronda, let's go to that match. Ronda Rousey taking on a less of less uh, Hell in a Cell match for the Raw Women's Championship. Uh, we can go quickly with that one. We're all in. Ronda wins. We have to all be yeah, Ronda wins. Like, that's Ronda right. Wins. Ronda, Ronda, yeah, Ronda, Ronda, Ronda wins. Yeah, Ronda, Ronda wins. Ronda wins. <laughs> so, so she can headline the female pay-per-view with the belt. There Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Next match here, AJ Styles taking on Samoa Joe. And we talk about personal here. This is a very personal match. Uh, it, Samoa Joe and AJ Styles, I think, are doing some of their best work right now in the WWE. Nothing against, nothing against Impact Wrestling. But right now, these two guys are center stage and, they, and helping take SmackDown to another level. Uh, AJ Styles and Samoa Joe, good feud here between these two, and it's bringing a lot of realism and personal personal feud into this. Um, I think this is Samoa Joe's time. I think Samoa Joe gets the title off of AJ Styles, and we see Samoa Joe carry this uh, maybe into Royal Rumble or maybe into WrestleMania. I think this is time for AJ Styles to lose the title. At Hell in a Cell. Out of all the titles, I think this one is the one that I think actually changes hands. Samoa Joe gets to win away AJ Styles. Go ahead, Champ Cree. Uh, I think AJ keeps it. I'll just keep it quick to the point. Yeah, I yeah, I think AJ keeps it too. I, I think the third time they, I think this is where AJ keeps it, but uh, Joe like chokes him out or it. Just, this will be where Joe chokes him out and doesn't let go or something and gets disqualified. And then Joe finally gets it. And uh, it, There's going to be a third match. I don't know what situation. There'll be a third match and Joe gets it there. Possibly Super Showdown. 
Possibly, possibly Super Showdown. And then we go to the Universal Championship match, which we know this week another stipulation of someone else. Mick Foley was added to this match to be the special mm-hmm. guest referee, I guess, in honor of the 20th anniversary of the Hell in the Cell match with The Undertaker, which really, if you're really looking at it for all you true wrestling fans, the 20th anniversary happened back in June. The Hell in the Cell was held back in June. But yeah. I don't want to be that guy, okay? I don't want to be that guy. They want to celebrate it in, in, in September. But nonetheless, uh, Mick Foley's in this match to be the special guest referee. And I think this one depends on the Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre. Because mm-hmm. I can't see Braun is cashing his briefcase in, and this is what I don't want people to forget. This is what Braun said in his briefcase. He cashed in. This is his cashing for Roman Reigns. And mm-hmm. the only other person who said they wanted to do an initial cash in at one was RBD. Mm-hmm. I, well, technically, technically, Cena won, but he didn't win the belt. <laughs> he didn't win the belt. Yeah, Cena won, but he didn't win the belt. Let's technically, Cena won. Oh, let me. Who won the belt has been RBD. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh. Braun Strowman loses it. I agree. Yeah, I agree. He does. He doesn't, agree need to, he doesn't need. To, he doesn't need the briefcase. Braun Strowman loses this match, and Roman Reigns comes out looks like a million bucks. Yeah. Unless unless Mick Foley screws Roman, which I don't see why. Um, Roman Reigns wins this match, and I know fans are going to boo and hate it. I don't know what they're going to do, but Roman Reigns wins wins this match, and I see the Shield getting involved. I see Drew McIntyre and, and Dolph Ziggler getting involved, but the Shield comes out whole at the end of this pay per view. Yeah, Roman is going to keep the belt all the way for the duration of the year and going on into Mania. Um, I don't know what they're going to do with Braun. Um, it's just it's what it is right now is protect Roman Reigns at all costs. And um, I don't like it, but that's just the way it is. And on that note, yes. folks, I'm on I'm on two percent. So yeah. those are my those are my predictions for Hell in a Cell. Here we go. Perfect. Braun I like Braun Chasing. Braun will chase and I think Braun Chasing is good for business. Yeah, I do too. I agree. Absolutely. That's, that's like, you know, so good pay per view there. And the ladies and gentlemen, those are our predictions for the Hell in the Cell pay per view. Hey, let us know what you think. Leave a comment on uh, in the comment section below. Also, check us out on YouTube, uh, in iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, subscribe, rate, and review, and let us know how we're doing. With it, as always, take a. Hey, if you're not confirmed, consider yourself tonight. In the story, ladies and gentlemen, good night.